Hey Gacha Squad, so today we are looking at the development story number two. That means we're getting a lot of new stuff in the next season. And I already took a quick look at it and we are getting a lot of new special modes. So first we had the Brawl Battle, which was quite good, but honestly I felt it was unfair most of the time, at least for me. It could be good for you, but well, it, it was okay-ish, I guess. Well, but now we are getting a couple of new modes. So the first one is going to be Dire Battle, which consumes HP instead of mana when using skills. That's, that's alright, like it, it sounds like the drowning part, what we had before. Then we get Spell Battles, in which a random spell is provided whenever a monster dies. That's pretty cool, like it, it's, it's gonna be fun I guess. Um, and then we get Mirror Battle, in which battles are conducted using the same random deck, will be released three country. Yeah. You get what I mean. <laughs> um, well, so I definitely like the last one because that's that's all about strategy. So no nothing about skill stones, nothing about level. And that's basically what the most free-to-play users are looking for. So all these three changes seem quite cool to me. Okay, now we get to a part that not everyone is going to like. Well, not this one, That that's gonna be for later. Um, so they're adding a, adding a battle pass. That can be good. Well, if it's for like five to 15 bucks, I would probably buy it, but um, we'll see what perks you get for that. Um, people mostly don't like those because it's, it's some sort of unfair advantage for some people, but well, come to us has to earn some money and that's probably the best way to do it and keep the people busy. Um, and usually there's a, also a free pass, so which hasn't the, the worst things in it. Like mostly, sometimes you get skins, sometimes, sometimes you get, I don't know, it depends on the game. But I hope you get good stuff from uh, the free pass in here as well. But I'm not sure about it. Well, we will see. So what else do we got? So the summer season concept is applied, which means, look at this. They have three new skins added and also this cool looking beach style arena. Um, I really like that one and we get transmogs for Verdehill. I honestly don't like this guy. Well, at least without the skill stones. Then we have Sierra on the beach and Megan on the beach. I do like those two because Honestly, everyone uses Sierra and Megan, so a cool skin for those is pretty thick as well. Well, what else do we have? They have a lot of improvements. So, rank bell has been improved so that the range of victory points has been eased in the upper grade of rank bells. We also plan to provide an opportunity to challenge once again the barrier bell, even if you lose three times. Uh, it tends to happen a lot to me, so I really like that fact. Even though I look at tutorials and whatever, I, I tend to lose three times. So one more try is quite cool. So the amount of points, uh, well, sorry, the amount of point drop will be slightly lowered when losing in the Diamond Master Grade. Well, that's quite cool. So you get to a higher point. But on the other hand, if you compare it to other games with leaks and stuff. Um, you kind of get too, too easy to the higher ranks. So it doesn't sound cool anymore when you say, yeah, I'm diamond. Well, if you're not master, you're nothing kind of because you're getting the points too easy. But that's just my opinion. We'll see how it goes further. So the magic crystal shop and the content rewards improves. So... The item sold in the Magic Crystal Shop will be improved so that you can purchase with the Magic Crystals that you obtained by the disassembled duplicate skill stones. Oh, yeah. So, we had a huge debate in the Discord and everywhere else about the normal skill stones. Even I was so annoyed about that because you always got the same things. And now they have the new skill stone summon and the new skill stone summon for, well, normal, rare and hero. They cost way less than before, which is amazing, and you get new stuff as well. So that's awesome. Like, Comptos is actually listening to the community and changes a lot of things quite fast. So you can even get a hero stone 
for 1000 well that's a lot that sounds a lot in the first place but you get it guaranteed new so i just have like two one for copper and one for chloe so i can go for the 600 but if you already have a lot of epic uh, i mean hero stones that's probably your go-to like 1000 i know it sounds a lot it is a lot honestly but you definitely get a new stone so that's great for free-to-play players also, they adjusted the, the Ancient Book prices and the Wind and all the others. Wow, 300 just for the Ancient Book? That's that's pretty awesome. So make sure to save your uh, Magic Crystals for the next season. Don't waste them yet, because you're going to get a dupe anyway. Um, glory Summon improvements. A Glory Milestone s system has been added. Um, sounds like you should definitely save your Glory Summons if you're not, like, hunting for something special or trying to get some monsters to a certain level right now because tw normal cards 10 times rare cards three times and a normal skill stone summon sounds really good to me and you can easily get those when you when you save now it's like two weeks till then and you should definitely wait for it if it's not urgent what else have been changed uh, you can now obtain runes from all grade of, grades of missions when completing missions at the mission office. That's pretty cool. Like, I was kind of upset that I did hero missions and I literally got never, like, rare stones or hero stones from that. And it was most of the time I just got normal and that's going to be a huge improvement as well. And I'm really looking for the legend uh, missions. I'm quite close to it, but there's still some XP left. Also, alliance system improvements. So if your leader is not, or your master is not logging in for quite some time, someone else is going to be the, the leader. Um, that's all right, I guess, but it's going to be annoying as well. I wish we could like delete this function or just, just turn it on and off because sometimes you have people like leaving for a, a while and coming back and everything is gone. Um, Maybe you don't have someone you trust in your alliance and don't want to give them the, the master role, but it doesn't even say how long this period is, it's just a certain period of time. So we'll see, maybe maybe it's all right. Uh, maybe it's something like a month or some, some, some amount of time like that. Um, we have to wait, I guess. Also, what else do we have? Alliance attendance system. It's a system added to provide rewards to the alliance members who have been attended based on the attendance check count of alliance members to boost alliance activities. That's awesome. Because um, that is that system is already in Summoner's War, the, the Skyrim unit. Um, and I really like it. Even if you don't get such a big reward, it's something. Like, if you get something every day, you're going to probably log in again. So that's a huge boost. And also star collection system in the alliance. It's a system added to provide rewards to the alliance member based on the numbers of stars they get have obtained together for a certain period of time. So those two points are a huge moral boost to have an alliance, to be active and enjoy the time together. So that's already it. But honestly, look at this and all the other changes. That's great like come to us as listening the changes are coming like each season i know the seasons are short like compared to all the other games but i guess that keeps the game alive if you look at summoners war i know the game is huge and the, the player base is huge and everyone is really active but compared to it to this you have changes every month and i love that um changes every three months with all the balance patches and summoners war sky arena it's, it's annoying to me, to be honest, because the meta's always getting stuck for like such a huge period of time. And with this, I'm super happy, to be honest. Well, I hope they continue like that. And that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the patch notes. And if you like this video, please leave a like or subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!